hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video you guys we are making a cheesy chicken spaghetti child yes we are taking a new turn with spaghetti now because y'all know y'all babies are tired of eating that old traditional spaghetti y'all made on monday mm -hmm. and it's wednesday okay act like you know so yes you guys we are making a new and improved spaghetti dish y'all featuring a creamy cheesy base juicy seasoned chicken and lots of herbs and flavor you definitely want to stick around for this recipe y'all if you are new to my channel welcome 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 thank you so much for watching and joining our foodie family don't forget before this video starts take a second you guys and hit that subscribe button to join our growing foodie family you don't want to miss out on any of these delicious recipes y'all and now let's get into it all right, y'all, to start off this recipe, we're gonna grab our chicken breasts here. These have already been cleaned and I've trimmed majority of the fat off of these chicken breasts. We're gonna grab some oil to lather up our chicken honey and it's time to season, y'all. Yes, y'all know we gotta add some flavor, okay? So I have a few spices here, some garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, some seasoning salt, a whole lot of good stuff, y'all. And don't forget, you guys, all ingredients and the amounts used will be posted below in the description box so y'all can have everything you need, okay? So we're gonna mix this up and sprinkle a little over half of the seasoning mix all over our chicken breast. We're gonna save about a third of the seasoning mix to add to our actual pasta, okay, y'all? Once you have this seasoned, we're going to crank our oven up to 350 degrees and we're going to let this chicken cook for about 40 to 45 minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of 165. Our chicken is cooking. Now we're going to grate some fresh cheese, which is what I always recommend. Fresh cheese is always better than that packaged stuff. We are using three cheeses today, honey, because y'all know we fancy now. We have some medium cheddar, Colby Jack cheese, and some mozzarella cheese. Next, you guys, we're going to grab some water and add some salt to it for our pasta. Once it's boiling, we're going to drop the pasta and start our sauce, y'all. To start this delicious, cheesy, creamy sauce, we're going to grab some butter butter, salted of course. To our butter, we're going to add some diced yellow onion, some diced green bell pepper, and some diced celery. To this, you guys, we're also adding a little bit of our seasoning mix and we're going to let these veggies cook down until tender. After the veggies have cooked, grab some minced garlic and add that right in. We're gonna cook the garlic out for about a minute or so and we're going to grab our cream of celery, cream of chicken, and cream of mushroom. Add these to a pot along with your veggies and we're gonna let this start to heat up, y'all. All right, you guys, so we have our cream of chicken, our cream of celery, and our cream of mushroom going along with our veggies. We're gonna add in here a little bit of chicken broth just to thin out our sauce just a bit. And now you guys, we're gonna go in with some cheese, y'all. So we're gonna add in about half of each cheese, the medium cheddar, the Kobe Jack, and the mozzarella to make our sauce extra cheesy, okay? Once the cheese has melted, we're gonna go in with some oregano, some Italian seasoning, and the remainder of our seasoning mix. So once this recipe is done, you guys should have used all of the seasoning that was initially listed. And we're also gonna go in with a little bit of butter, y'all know, just to make it a little extra good, a little razzle dazzle, okay? This is what our sauce is looking like, ain't she pretty? Now that our sauce is done, we're gonna set that off to the side, pull our chicken out of the oven, and we're going to shred our chicken, you guys. It's already done cooking and it's so flavorful, it's so juicy. Once you have that chicken shredded, it's time to layer this cheesy chicken spaghetti, y'all. Okay, y'all, so this recipe is actually almost done. Can you believe it? I know you can. It's so easy and it's so delicious. I cannot wait for you guys to try this. So to get this ready to go into the oven, we're gonna grab a baking dish and we are going to butter our dish, y'all. Yes, we're gonna lather that pan with some butter just to make sure that our pasta is not sticking when it's baking in the oven because y'all ain't nobody got time for that, okay? 
Once we have our baking dish nice and buttered, honey, we're gonna go in first with our cooked spaghetti noodles. Then we're gonna top our spaghetti noodles with that delicious seasoned shredded chicken, our creamy cheesy sauce, and then we're gonna top that with the remainder of our cheese, all right? We're gonna repeat until we make it to the top of our baking dish and finish it off with that last layer of cheese. We're also going to add to the top just a sprinkle, just a dab, you know what I'm saying? Just a little tea tea of paprika over the top to help it brown in the oven because y'all already know paprika is mainly used for color, okay? Argue with your mama, not me. We're going to cook this pasta at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour until it is browned on top just like this right here. Yes, y'all see how brown that pasta is? Nice and melanated just like me. Period. All right, you guys, now that our pasta is nice and brown out the oven, honey, she looking good. She ready, okay? We're gonna top this with some fresh Italian parsley just to add a little bit of freshness, some color, make the pasta real pleasing to the eye, child. And that is it, you guys. We are done with this delicious recipe, y'all. This right here is so impressive, and it's gonna give your family a new delicious recipe to have for dinner. This pasta right here, you guys, is so good. I'm telling you, you have to try this recipe. The chicken is juicy and flavorful. The sauce is so savory and cheesy, y'all. This pairs so well with cheesy bread, which is what I have right here. You can also make this with garlic toast, a side salad. It's literally thebomb.com y'all I ain't lying I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you give this amazing delicious recipe a try if you want to cook with us y'all it's easy all you have to do is hit that subscribe button to support your girl and to join our foodie family after you've hit that subscribe button, don't forget to also turn on your post notification bell, which will allow you to be notified every time I upload a new recipe. Leave me a comment down below if you've made it to the end of this video. What do you guys think about this recipe? Also give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you are here and that you're watching. I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye y'all.